day two, we're looking at getting started on our SQL tutorials. Now, I mentioned yesterday, and hopefully, or last time we met, and hopefully you did some preparing, the idea of uh, downloading the database. Now, this could be um, most likely to be SQL Server or MariaDB. If you go to mariadb.org, that org, you can see where the latest versions are, and uh, you can probably go back all the way to ours, our version that we're working with, that I'm working with. It shouldn't see too much differences in it. Now, if you want to see how to install it, then you can see pretty easily, you can do an example of installing my SQL on, let's say, Linux, and you can see some stuff here. We're going to see like what your command lines are going to look like, everything like that. Because depending on what you're doing, you've got different, uh, some very different installations. Now, whatever you do, you should end up as part of the installation. You should have some sort of a root user. Uh, it's in MySQL. It's called root. Uh, it may be uh, DBO or something like that. But you've got some uh, primary owner. Now. Uh, we are today, one of the things we're going to look at is creating a user and granting privileges. And so this right away is going to get into database specific things. I'm going to show you how it's done in MySQL. You can follow along if you're using MySQL. If you're using a different database engine, then you may have to do a little you know, searching to see how it gets done in your, um, in your specific environment because it could vary widely and it could be something that um, you know, it, this is completely confusing to you. When I start putting some of these commands in, they may be completely wrong and broken. So if you're on something other than MySQL or MariaDB, uh, take a look through it. Take a look at what the specifics are. Now, you will probably have, you've got a uh, root user. So if, depending on how you did it, um, you should be able to, you would have something like a, and this is from MySQL, is to log in once you've installed everything. And you probably will see this in the commands, but just to be sure, you're going to do something like MySQL, it says this is the engine, uh, user is going to be your username, and then dash P, and then when you do it, it's going to say enter a password. Now, mine is not set up. I've got it secured, so that root user is not available if unless I am... Uh, root itself so I have to go all the way up and I probably didn't type my password right and in so doing now I can do it without anything and because I am root on this machine it's going to come in and and be um, I'm root I could also do I think though if I do root with dash p I think I've blocked that out so it's if I give it a password Oh, okay. So it does do it here. So I also, I have it locked down so you can only install, only be root if you're root, essentially. Uh, let me make sure who I am. Okay. Let me drop back down one more. And then, um, now what I did is I created a user called Rob and gave it a password. And it has access to everything. Because so we talked about this. You don't want your root user to be the one you use most of the time. So... Instead, what you want to do is create a like a developer user. In the MySQL world, uh, and I'm going to have some links in the show notes on doing this, but it's pretty easy, is you're going to do create user. And let me call him, uh, I'm going to call him Tutor. At, uh, let's say, at star. So it depends, on, he can log in from anywhere. Well, let's keep him localhost. Tutor at localhost. And then I'm going to tell it identified by, which is basically the password. And my password is going to be just, um, let's do tutor123. Uh, let's do test123. This is like a really simple, do not use this yourself unless it's a completely internal, uh, unavailable database. So now when I did this, um, I've created a user and now I can log in as tutor. So if I do this, let me quit. 
And if I do my SQL dash U tutor dash P test one, two, three. Okay, so now I'm, I'm logged in, but now I have this command so I can see what are all the databases that are available? Practically none that I can see. However, if I come back out and log in as the Rob user, which can, oh, I gotta type that right again. If I log in as that user and then do show databases, I'm gonna be able to see a ton of databases because I can see everything. The only one I saw before was the information screen uh, schema. Now I will show you uh, in this MySQL world, if you ever wonder what users you have, uh, within the database, there's this command called use, and that's using a specific database. So I'm going to use MySQL, and that puts me in, quote, you know, that's the context that I'm now in MySQL. So if I use, if I want to look at the tables, I do show tables. These are the tables here that exist in the MySQL database, including user. So if I do select star from user, I'm going to see a bunch of data. Uh, and it's so here's the take. Actually, let me do it this way is I can see all the data that's in that table. But let me do this. I'm going to see what are the columns. And let me do, uh, let's do, oh, let's just do host user and password. Host user password from user. Is that right? Host user, yeah, those are all capital. And I wonder if that'll work. I think that'll work. So, so I wanted to show you this. As you can see here, that guy I just created, that password, so that's tutor on localhost, this password is not test123 because it is encrypted in the database. And so you're not going to be, the only way you're going to be able to find out what a password is, is to either guess it correctly or you can change a password. You can update a password. Uh, we're going to get into those things a little bit later. Uh, today, I just wanted to basically do the let's create a user. And then when I'm, uh, let's see, oh, I'm, I'm who I am. So now I can create a user and then I can drop a user, which is going to be the same one. So it's going to be tutor uh, at localhost, if I do that. And now if I look at the users, I don't see he doesn't exist anymore. So let me go with, first let's create a database. So you want to create a database, and this is something you're going to want to hold on, you're going to do it and work with for a while. So let's do create a da create database, and let's call it tutorial, because this is one we're going to work with. And if I do that, now I can see, okay, created a database. If I use use tutorial, I'm in that database. If I do uh, show tables, whoops, I have to, oh, I have to type it right then there's no tables in here. I haven't created a table yet in my database. I can also get rid of my database. And if I do, it gets rid of everything in the database. You do not want to do this unless it's basically an empty database. So if I drop database tutorial, if I do show databases, I'm going to see that tutorial does not exist. If I go back and create it and then do show databases, then here it is. Now let me do this real quick. I want to, I do want to jump back to, oh, I've got to create that user again. I apologize. So let's look back at creating that user. So if I do create, where did I put create? Oh, create user. There we go. Create user tutor at local host, identify by test. Okay, so I'm going to create him. And now, I am going to go back and log in as him. And remember, I do show databases. If I do create database tutorial, or let's do, um, let's just call it my database, my database. Now, 
I'm going to get access denied because I created this user and have very little permissions granted to them. So I'm not able to create a database. Now, I can create a database and then assign those permissions to my user, which is uh, basically what I'm going to do here in a minute. Or I can assign to, I can assign them to up to, like for example here, if I do, um, and this is called grant privileges. And so this is where we're getting a little bit into the, this getting into permissions. So I can do, uh, if I want, I can do grant all privileges, if I can spell it right, privileges on, and I can do star dot star to, and then I give it the username. So if I do tutor at localhost, now I try to do it as me, uh, as tutor, remember I'm logged into tutor, then I'm going to get access denied because I can't grant myself those permissions. However, if I come in as me, now if I want to do grant all privileges, then what I need to do is, uh, oops, I need him, I think he needs to be identified by What was it? Test one, two, three. Oh, Rob is not able to do it. I have to be root. I did not give Rob the ability even to grant these permissions. However, I can, uh, let's see, do I have? Okay, so I do have my tutorial database, but what I can do, so I can't grant privileges to everything, but I can do everything on the tutorial database. Oops, maybe I'm not. Behind. Let's make sure if I don't have that. I may not be able to grant permissions. I think I don't have, I didn't give myself grant permission. Let's, uh, let's see if I can see that from here. Uh, I want to do select, sure. From user, so I want to do select star from user where user whoops equals Rob, and so I can see here. Now you can see a bunch of privileges up here, so I can see there's selects, inserts, updates, deletes, reload, process, grant. So if I go look at Grant privilege. Let's do grant priv, and let's see if I have any others that I want to give. Um, bah, 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 bah. That'll probably be good for now. And I can see that I don't have grant privileges, but I can do. Let's see. Um, and now I'm playing around a little bit because I have not done this very well. Uh, where did my other little, there, there's my little window. Um, so there, okay. I should be able to get that pretty easy. So blank on that to Rob at star. Let's see if that'll work. Um, I wonder if I can do grant proof. Probably not. So I'm just going to cheat. So I'm going to do update user set. Whoops. Grant prove equal y where user equals Rob. Oop, dang it, because Rob is a string. Is that where I blew it up earlier? Oh, it probably is. Okay, so actually if I want to do grant grant to, let's see if I do that, does that make it? 
I'm going to try one more time. Okay, anyways, so now if I go back to my select, now I see that I have grant privileges. So now if I come back in here, oh, I guess I was in as me anyways. I was able to sort of cheat. <laughs> but now if I come in here and I want to do grant uh, all privileges on tutorial.star to them. Let's see if I can get away with that. Nope, I can't do it. Oh, because I don't have... Interesting. <clears throat> uh, let me see if I do grant all privileges <clears throat> on whoops. Not star two Rob. At star. Oh, let's do Rob at. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, so it doesn't allow that. So now I, I do have to come in as my super dude. So now if I come in here and I grant all privileges, then that works. And if I want to grant everything to the tutor, I can do that. Now, one of the things we got to remember when we're signing privileges is we need to be able to, when you're done, you want to flush, which is going to update everything. Privileges. So now, if I go to, uh, let's see, who do I want to be? Oh, I don't know what I want to do. Uh, let me get back to here. So now if I log in as tutor, because I granted access to that database, I can see tutorial. I can use tutorial. I'm going to do create table. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Um, table one as this thing, which is just going to be um, name bar chart. And let's see if that'll work. I'm trying to get the most simple create, but I don't have that right now. So I'm going to actually deal with that in another time. But I can go in and see something at least <laughs> within this. Because um, I do show tables and there are none in tutorial. I'm going to get into this a little bit further um, next episode. Right now, what I want to do is walk through creating a user, granting some privileges, deleting a user. Because what we want to do, and this is sort of your homework, create a user and probably call him like if you can, tutor and then give them a good uh, password or go with a very simple one if this is a database that is has no outside access. And then create your database, which is, again, that's just going to be create database tutorial. And then see it's already created. And then you're going to do use tutorial. And that is is essentially where we're going to be when we pick up on the next episode. Because what we're going to do is we now have a database. So we have sort of a, a place to work. If you think back to the prior episode where we had the spreadsheet example, what we've done at this point is we've opened up our spreadsheet software and we have a blank workbook. And you can sort of think of it that way. If this workbook, um, back to that prior example, I could call this... Um, I'm just going to call it my databases. And well, actually, I'm sorry. This would be so these would be tables within it. So this would now be uh, if I can if I can drag and drop properly. So this would be like the tutorial database. Which at this point would have actually nothing. Um, so I can take all of this and this all does not exist because table one is not really, I haven't created it yet. So this gave me the creation of table one and we're going to call this, um, this is going to end up be calling, eh, we're going to call this basic table because that's what we're going to create next time around is we're going to create a table. We're going to create some columns. 
and we're going to start doing some very basic stuff within it. And we're going to swing back around. So we're going to work on our, our creating a table first with very simple data. We're not going to get too deep into it. As we're going to run into a few of these things, these first few episodes, we're going to, uh, as I did even a little bit today, we're going to jump ahead and talk about some concepts here and there that it's sort of take our word for it. And later we're going to dig deeper into it. So at this point, if you're set for the next episode, then you've got your engine installed. You have a user that you're going to be using for this series and you've created a database. So we've got a starting point when we start creating tables in that next episode. That being said, it's time to move on and get prepared for that next episode. So go out there, have yourself a great day, a great week, and we will talk to you next time.